hitting my gamer, tuned down to three degrees, house of forward shaft, the boomstick. <laughs> that should be over. The green. I think that's into that hill. Hey babe, can you bring me that driver? The short one with the turtle on it? Go to the shorty. That's not on, I don't care. Back in the green, and then uh, rolling to the, the back left bunker. It's as short as I can hit it. A lot of spin. Oh, piss. <clears throat> oh, legit. Was on the green. Hit the rock. It's just on the kind of the back uh, collection area. You can put that. We going all the way back? Yeah, got it. Right. No, that's fine. Can hit the real driver now. <laughs> Long way. What, 386, yeah? 386. So, uh, brought out the competition driver. Um, other one's a waste of time. <clears throat> Cut. Ooh. <clears throat> over the green yeah that's good green left side. that was large that all right so first ball I believe hit the green rolled in here I guess that's what you would call a good leave Take it. All right, so landing point of my drive from the middle tees. So we're gonna pull out the 54 degree wedge and uh, we'll give it a go. It's actually pretty good. I'm fairly pleased, I mean, I'm actually very pleased with that. You know, even with a three putt, we still got birdie here. It's tracking. It's for double eagle. Mm. That was almost good. That would have been nice. You know, 400 yard drives not supposed to do, but I'm not supposed to make putts, so oftentimes makes me happier than hitting a good drive. We're three for three on eagle. No double eagles, but I'm not a tour pro, not trying to fool anybody here. The moral of the story is, when you have a chance to drive a par five, you just gotta do it.